Good morning! Today we'll be calculating the resistance for a resistor. The resistor is the device that I'm pointing at here. So let's commence operations. Resistors. They reduce the flow of current in a circuit in a predictable manner. Ultimately, they convert electrical energy into heat. So resistance is the ratio of voltage to current. So today, to complete our task, we'll need to measure the voltage and the current. Please note that to measure the voltage, the leads of the multimeter are placed in parallel with the resistor. And to measure current, the leads of the multimeter are placed in series with the circuit. And so I'd like you to complete this table today. Please note that current is measured in milliampers. Please also note that we just won't be calculating resistance for one battery. We'll be calculating resistance for a total of six batteries. And so please record the following data. For resistor A, the voltage, 1.51 volts, and 2.1 milliampers of current. We're going to add a battery. Please record the data. Another battery. Please record the data. Fourth battery. Please record the data. A fifth battery. Please record the voltage and the current. And finally, a sixth data point with a sixth battery, 9 volts and 12.2 milliamps. Now different resistors have different resistances. And so this is resistor B. Please record the voltage and the current. Two batteries, three batteries, four batteries, five batteries, and finally, six batteries, 8.95 volts, 7.0 milliamperes. So today I'd like you to create a graph with voltage on the x-axis and current on the y-axis. Voltage is on the x-axis because this was the variable that we were in control of by manipulating the number of batteries. Current is on the y-axis because this was the variable that we measured in response to the number of batteries that we added to the circuit. Please include a professional title, a line of best fit, and a calculation of the run over the rise. Please note, run over the rise, not rise over the run. Now resistance is defined as voltage over current. And so today the question is, why is resistance run over rise? Well, if we have our line of best fit and we draw our run, note that the run is measured in volts. The rise is measured in milliampers. And so voltage over current is volts over amps. And that's why we're doing run over rise today. Please choose your two points for the slope very far apart. The further apart they are, the more accurate the calculation of slope will be. Now why have I chosen these two specific points? because they're easy to read. So whenever you choose points to determine the slope, choose points that are easy to read. What do I mean by easy to read? As you can see, this point here is easy to read because it's exactly at six, and it's exactly at five. Similarly, that point is also easy to read. It's exactly at 25, and it's exactly at 19. And so the run then is easy to calculate. In this case, it would be 19 volts. And similarly, the rise would be easy to calculate. It would be 14 milliamps. If you choose a point like this, well, it's very challenging to calculate the rise because this is not at a whole number on the graph. 
So resistance, once again, is run over I's, and resistance is measured in a unit called the ohm. The symbol for ohm is the Greek letter omega. An ohm is a volt per ampere. So before you do your final calculation, you will need to convert milliamperes into amperes. Finally, I want you to answer the question, is the resistor an ohmic or non-ohmic device? I hope you enjoyed today's activity. Have a great day. Bye-bye.